Hi, I'm Margaret Martin. Today on Mueller Guide, we're going to be discussing retirement planning and your bones. We've all been told to start planning for retirement in our 20s. And whether that be for a trip to Europe or golf in Florida or doing some extra gardening, but mainly for preventing a hip fracture, planning in our early 20s becomes very important following a bone healthy diet and regular vigorous exercise becomes a very important part of having the type of retirement that you want. Hip fractures and spinal fractures are much more common than you may think. In Canada and the US, more women over the age of 70 will suffer a fracture than breast cancer, stroke and heart disease combined. It's estimated that one in four women and one in eight men have osteoporosis. Hip fractures are very common in individuals with osteoporosis. Nine out of 10 hip fractures are the result of osteoporosis. Not only are they one of the most costly type of fractures in terms of healthcare dollars, but they're also very costly in terms of quality of life. Hip fractures are one of the most devastating of all fractures in that one in five women and one in three men die within a year of a fracture. 50% require ongoing assisted living in some type of institution. And only a quarter of individuals who suffer hip fractures actually return to independent living. And having said that, it's usually never to the level of independence that they had prior to their hip fracture. Another type of fracture that's very common is spinal fractures. And although less devastating, they are much more common than hip fractures. Over a five year period of time, the incidence of death is nearly as high with hip fractures as it is with spinal fractures. And if we look at the vertebral bodies in the slide on the left, in this x-ray shown here on the slide, you'll see the height of the vertebral body here it's a nice height. Whereas if you look at the vertebral body above, it is just about half the size of the vertebral body below. The other ones that seem a little bit smaller are starting to get compressed. But this is what we call a spinal fracture. They're also referred to as compression fractures. And it's where the spine starts to compress in on itself because of the level of trabecular bone that starts to collapse. And although some of these are silent fractures, almost half of them actually occur silently, where some of the, you might experience a little bit of back pain, but then that usually re resolves with time. Some spinal fractures can be very painful, but most spinal fractures, it's not the one fracture that makes um, you lose quality of life. It's the recurrence of fracture after fracture after fracture. So. If you have one spinal fracture, the chances of having a second and third are much higher. And we'll have a tutorial dedicated just to spinal fractures. So, hope this has been helpful. I hope that you can make good nutrition and bone building exercises part of your lifestyle so that you can have the type of retirement you're planning for today. That's all for this session. I'll see you next time on Melio Guide.